Nia Nia, everyone. This is Thermite, and this is Stray Cat in Rainy Days by, uh, I don't know the person's name, actually. Um, Aoiro Ichiza, I guess. It could be Aoi, or it could be Aoiro Ichiza. Either way. Um, this is, in fact, an h dojin but I, as far as I know, I'm fairly sure this isn't, like, uh, 1080p, like, uh, boning. So it should be okay for YouTube, right? I'm fairly sure. I mean, if it isn't, I don't really care that much. I <laughs> I read Yuna and the Haunted Hot Springs on a stream, so it, it'll be fine. I picked this up almost entirely because the word cat is in the title, and I don't even know if he's, like, a literal cat boy or a metaphorical one. But either way, I, I think I'll be down for it. Ah, oh, we've got three chapters, too. Um, Based on the file size, I didn't look at how long it is, but I assume it's relatively long, and so I was a bit worried about that. I don't really like reading, like, long stories that aren't broken up. Whereas, like, because this is three chapters, I think I'll be okay with reading it all in one session. That's so weird to think about, but it's true. Like, even with um my, like, normal volume reactions, I get way more exhausted reading a monthly series with long chapters than, like, a weekly series with really short chapters. Anyways, let's get right into it. I remember that sunset and that old road and our secret base and even your smiling face. Secret base implies that they've known each other since they were kids. Like, that's definitely a more, like, kid thing to do. I remember staring into your wavering eyes on that fateful day during the rainy season. Okay. So, alright, we've got our boys, and I, I think it's pretty obvious to say, but obviously he's been crying in the rain. This is Yasaka Natsuki. Okay. Aw, okay, so there's a metaphorical cat, or like a literal cat. Like, <laughs> so okay, okay. This is something I've, I haven't seen many series do this, but I guess I've seen it more in like text than I have in like manga or like in, um, like, um, comics. But I, I like this concept, like, um, Milk Morinaga is writing a series right now called, um, I think it's My Sweet Little Kitten, where it's a eerie relationship, but then they, they're also taking care of a literal kitten. And I think that's a really cool dynamic. Like, it's this idea of like, there's something else that is like, it's a metaphor for the relationship. At the same time, it's a literal thing that both people in the relationship can take care of. <laughs> I've gotten much better at building things since our days in the secret base. Eh, I don't know if you built this or not. This is just a box that is sideways now. Oh no, he's soaked. Okay. Oh, so they've drifted apart. Like, not just emotionally, but like they physically moved different, like, or I guess just Natsuki moved away. And so they haven't been able to interact very much. Okay, so that's why they feel so, like, weird together. Right. Natsuki feels very different. So why? 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 Why is that? You know, I heard a rumor that he dates guys for money. Yeah, that's definitely the kind of thing that would expand your very small world. Especially if you're in... I assume they have to be in middle school, right? They can't be in high school. <laughs> hey, sis, do you know anything about compensated dating? Oh, boy. Oh, okay, that is that is not what I expected when they said secret base. Like, it is true, but at the same time, like, when I think of a secret base, I always assume, like, you know, something made of sticks or of cardboard like, out in the woods. Whereas this is just straight up, like, an abandoned storage hut. The, the repeated theme of, back then, my little world was so much more brighter. That's very worrisome. I feel like there's going to be a very dark turn that the series takes. <sighs> Pete does have very expressive eyes. Like, specifically, like, in these few shots where, like, he's supposed to have very clear eyes. Like, these are gorgeous-looking eyes. But okay, the kitty's doing well. Good, good. Okay. So, yeah, why doesn't he have an umbrella? I was going to say, like, maybe he's super poor, but that can't be right, right? Like. An umbrella doesn't cost that much, especially in Japan. I don't have an umbrella. I hate the rain. I can't stand the sound of the rain when it hits an umbrella, too. It's unbearable to me, so that's why I don't have one. Okay, that's a, that's a pretty unique reason, actually. Like, I guess I could see that, but it seems like an excuse. Okay, Yeska's father vanished without a trace. They ended up selling his house and moving into an apartment. So, ah, uh, ah. Uh, all right, so we are doing it. Like, we are building this connection between uh, Natsuki and then the actual little kitten. Like, this is very much the same thing. Natsuki was found the next day. He waited the entire night for his father to come home. 
And like, it is very much the same situation of he's surrounded by rain. He's not being directly rained upon, but he's hearing that rain hitting the roof and it bothers him so much. And at the same time, like, I didn't really think about this, but, um, oh, what's his, what is our main character's name? Let me go backwards a little bit, but like he, he hasn't like, he didn't like give Natsuki a real solution. He's just been talking to him and then like letting Natsuki go back to his daily life, whatever that is, like whether he's being abused or whatever. In the same way, at no point did he bring up the idea of like taking the cat home. Like he didn't even do the generic thing of like, hey, mom, do we ha-? like, you know, can we have pets? And then she's like, oh, no, we don't. You know, we, we uh, our landlord doesn't allow us to have cats or whatever. <coughs> like he didn't even bother doing that. He just made a, ho- a shelter for that cat and then was like, OK, well, the kitty's going to be good. Guess we're going to leave. But yeah, he's done the exact same thing, uh, the exact same thing to both of them. Ah, uh, he was alone all night in the rain. Right, even back then, Natsuki's world was so much bigger than mine. Uh, I really do like that we keep on creating this, like, parallel of, like, not just their situations, but also the idea of his world being bigger. Like, just... Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's go. I'm not using the umbrella today. <laughs> and in- interestingly enough, like, he doesn't have clear eyes here. He has the normal eyes. Like, they're not mind broken or anything, but they don't look as clear as they did before. So I guess he's not like he's surprised, but he's not like as I don't know. What was the commonality between those two? I assumed it was like, you know, because the two of them are meeting together, he has the clear eyes. But that's not correct. And he does seem more closed off right now. So something had to have been different those two times. I didn't notice until now, but Natsuki's really skinny. Hmm. Okay, just coming right out and saying it. Also, his name is Takaya-san. Uh, Takaya-kun, so I'll write down Takaya. Usually I wouldn't for, like, especially something I'm going to only do for one video, but because they keep on, like, not mentioning his name, like, Natsuki is very easy to remember because they keep saying Natsuki, but I assume we're not going to hear Takaya's name a lot. I doubt you'd believe me even if I told the truth. All right, so he's going to, I guess, not prove it. Because I assume because he said, I doubt you'd believe me, so I don't know if that is a, like, it in middle or not but either way the blowjob is happening so like it, it's hard to argue with this that moment was the first time i saw natsuki's emotionless mask crumble uh, i don't know i guess those clear eyes weren't his mask crumbling or i guess those just like glimpses into him or he's like this is straight up like you know he's blushing oh no whoops virginity lost yeah like is that true if it is just please stop for your own good i know guys love boys like you on rainy days, you always wait for me to go home. You don't have to. All right, so that's the end of chapter one. Ah, uh, he's, I, I don't know how to read him. And I know that's very intentional. And I do like that he has emotions, clearly. Like, you can see the blush there. But at the same time, like, he's very, like, he's very realistically good at, like, trying to hide his feelings. While at the same time, like, his body shows it. But that doesn't mean he can't, like, still deny it. And it's not being done in a very, like, exaggerated anime way, which is interesting. Hmm. Okay, so we're seeing, um, Natsuki's perspective here. So I'll be leaving with her boyfriend any moment now. Ah. Uh, maybe I'm the one that's dirty all along. Ah. Uh, so I guess, like, I wouldn't say he's abused here, but at the very least, he's neglected. Like, he's just kind of there to fend for himself. Ah, the kitten's getting bigger. And again, if we're taking this as a metaphor, then yeah, I I guess we could say that Natsuki's getting like a bit stronger because he's getting a little care. But at the same time, like it's not addressing the root problem here. Takai is just, you know, helping him whenever it's convenient and then saying, all right, well, uh, see you later and then leaving. Hmm. It's Ryota. Oh, never mind. It's Ri, uh, Ryo Uta. Ryo Uta. Okay. <laughs> Rio, 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 Ta. Aww. <laughs> this cat is so confused. Ah, uh, you're doing it. You're making him at least a little happy, which is nice. Oh my gosh, is that a collar? It's a choker? Ah, <laughs> oh, it looks really good on him. Uh, I think it looks best when it's uh, this size. Like, it's it's fluctuating there. It's definitely fluctuating, but like... 
I, I think chokers like that look the best when the ring is just a tiny, like the tiniest bits bigger than the rest of the ribbon. But like it more or less looks about the same size. Like if it's too small, then it's like, eh. If it's too big, then it just looks weird. But that looks, that looks perfect. Mm, yeah, it's, it's almost too much. Ah. Uh, all right. Little by little, I've been able to... Uh, I don't know if he's truly entering Nazi's world. Although I guess this is like, this is definitely entering his world. Hmm. I don't understand this form of bullying, by the way. Like, in general, I don't understand bullying. But this especially, like, this style where it's just doing mean things and then leaving and then not, like, even peeking around the corner to see what happens. Like, just doing mean things and just having that person struggle with them by themselves is just... It's so heartlessly mean that I, I can't understand why anyone would do it. I know you're, why well, you're so stubborn. If you must know, I don't date people for money. Takayaskin, do you want to have sex with me? Very, very clear, very straightforward. And okay, so I will accept that he doesn't date people for money. But then why did that rumor even start then? Like, is it just because he doesn't have money? Like, he does clearly seem to not have any money. But, hmm. I guess it could be that, and then the fact that he is very attractive, everyone's kind of seemed, oh, he must be a gigolo. All right, condom out, let's do this. It's not just because of that. Right, okay, fair enough, fair enough. I knew he wouldn't do this with anyone else. I feel bad for even asking him. Ooh, I would only do this with someone I really love. Flash. So you don't have to worry about me, right? Okay, okay. But that is, like, that's also very nice because it proves that, okay, uh, like, it proves that it is consensual, that Takaya isn't just, like, you know, taking advantage of Natsuki. Or that Natsuki isn't just, like, silently, like, you know, acquiescing for the sake of shutting him up. Like, he does genuinely like it. You didn't have to go that far to prove it to me, but I don't think, like, it was to an extent to prove it to him. But I don't think that's the case. Like, I highly doubt Natsuki was just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do it just to prove it. I'm pretty sure he wanted to do it. And, you know, proving it to you was just, you know, a side effect. That stray cat, I wonder why its parents never came back for it. Just addressing it very quickly, like just very bluntly. Maybe there was something keeping it from coming back. There must be a reason why they didn't come back. Then why were you so nice to that stray cat? Like, how do you respond to this? What is a good response for this? I, I genuinely don't know. <laughs> like, because it is absolutely going to relate to him. So knowing that metaphor, how do you respond? I just couldn't leave it all by itself. Even that stray cat will disappear with time. It's just a stray cat. Don't even worry about it. Um. Okay, that's worrisome. Okay, maybe Nazi's pain will come to an end. Um. All right, the cat's gone. Which I assume it was picked up and you know taken in by family. I can't. Next week I won't be living here anyway. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, so uh, I, I I initially thought like, okay, fair enough. Like he's moving away with his mom, like whatever. But no, she's moving into a new home and she doesn't want me there. So I'm moving in with my grandparents. That sucks. That's so bad. And like, as I'm getting older as a person, I understand like this feeling. I can definitely relate to someone who would go like, oh, well, you know, I I have a kid, but I want to live my own life. Like, I think that's a scummy thing. But at the same time, I can't say that's like, you know, evil or like a bad thing. Like, I can understand the motivations behind that. It's just at the same time, it, it feels so awful because I understand what, what it must be like, you know, for the kid in that situation. Like, just, ah. Uh... But yeah, now he really is a stray. I have no one that loves me. I'm the same as that stray cat. Ah. Uh... Yeah, his eyes changed again. It's the same eyes as before. It's, I think it is genuinely a feeling of love. I think he is genuinely looking at Takaya and going like, yeah, I'm happy that you're saying this to me. Right? Even friends don't normally say things like that to each other. I just, come on, you've got to say it. Just either say that you love him or say like, let's go to the secret base. Yeah, it's not as shallow as just having sex. There's no way. There's no way that's true. Oh, that look, though, that is a heartbreaking look. Like, it's such a complicated expression. I'm like props to the mangaka for being able to draw this mix of like 
showing that he was blushing, that he was happy. And at the same time, like he was slapped. And he's not angry or anything. He's just kind of like stunned a little. Ah, weather forecast was wrong. The rain didn't stop just yet. Yeah, that's very true, actually. Ryota finally got his heart broken. That stray cat was shivering out in the rain. Usa, I wanted you to hold out an umbrella for me. This half-hearted way of helping me would only make me hurt more when I'm alone. Blocking the rain will make it go away forever. Uh... Oh my gosh. And that, oh my gosh, that is a perfect, like, analogy. Or, like, a perfect, like, just mini... I guess I'd just say that's a daydream, right? Because he is, like... I assume this is supposed to be a daydream. But yeah, like when they were kids, they wouldn't have just like kept the cat out in the rain and, you know, fed it from time to time. They would have taken it to the secret base because why not? At the same time, like just because you're older, just because you're, you know, young adults, why in the world would you leave like, why would you leave him alone? Why would you leave Natsuki to fend for himself? Natsuki is kind of a strong boy, huh? Even as a kid, he used to help you out when you were in need. Gotta help him back. Even if I can only help a little, I want to show him someone cares. If I can pick him up and hold, just hold him in my hands, just being able to do that would be fine by me. All right, we've got an entire final chapter for this. Right, and so even like that first time when they when he reached out his hands, he must have made those same eyes. Like those aren't, I guess those are like the eyes of being hurt specifically, those clear eyes. Like he was hurt every time he saw them and that's why he fell in love with them. <laughs> Which like, in a sense, that seems a little unhealthy, but at the same time, like, I, I get it. I get the feeling of, like, seeing someone when they're, like, emotionally vulnerable and going, like, okay, I, I think I love this person. <laughs> Especially because, like, in a relationship, you become emotionally vulnerable quite a lot. Which is, like, it's so weird to think about that. It's so weird to, like, compare a friendship with a, like, a relationship and how you can do the exact same things in both. But because the, the like, the romantic relationship, I should say is like more emotionally vulnerable the exact same things can feel very very different so come on uh just wait here and i'll pick you up on my way home he waited a whole day and his dad never came back Ah. Uh, even so why did you even want to be back in my world i was perfectly fine with being forgotten yeah we still have an answer for why people think that he dates him for money, but I assume it's got to be just like jealousy or just like, you know, bad rumors based on the fact that he's poor. I thought you hated me at first. I didn't know why anyone would want to be with a dirty person like me, but I'm still glad you let me in. Uh... Yeah, you can't leave without saying goodbye. Come on, we're doing it. We're going back to the secret base. Back then, you took my hand and pulled me into your beautiful world. Again, like reversing that analogy of... Uh, of not or like of Takaya being pulled into Natsuki's world, the, you know, Natsuki's world of like suffering of being an adult. But at the same time, like Takaya was pulling Natsuki all this time into his closed off small worlds. And like that, there is a niceness to that, that, you know, there is an innocence to it of like, hey, like my world is less silly than yours. So let's play in mine. Ah, you are always there for me. All right, we're doing it. We're at the secret base. Aww. Aww. Don't you remember my promise? I'll be with you every day it rains. All right. Time for some bareback sex. Aww. I, I can definitely relate to this, too. This, like, this, uh, how do I put it? Like, putting yourself down repeatedly because you're like, well, clearly I love this person and I'm like, I don't love myself. So clearly I have to apologize for being myself because clearly like this person deserves so much better than what I am. It's incredibly hard to dig out of that hole to realize that, you know, you do in fact deserve the person you're with. Uh, Yo, John, please just love me. I really hate being alone. I've been abandoned by everyone that loves me, so please save me. Uh, yeah, why did I fall in love with the pure look in your eyes? Like, it really is a kittenish look of just wanting to be loved. Oh, you're not dirty at all to me. In fact, I think you're very beautiful. They're finally in a world meant for only two. 
his mom's probably like, hey, what's going on? Like, are, are you OK? Because they're probably staying out way until until like the depths of midnight. But at the same time, they, yeah, they, they should just be alone for now. They should just be alone for now. Aww. Also, this is so cute. Like, finally, they don't they don't have boundaries. They can just say outright, I love you. Uh, and they're both really cute. Like, uh, Natsuki is definitely the cuter one, but Takaya is pretty damn cute himself. Oh, I love you forever. Oof, yeah, especially with, like, how efficient Japanese trains are. Five hours is still, like, that's a ridiculous, like, l like, that's a very long distance. That means that, like, there's no way to get there any faster than the train. But, yeah, even the secret base seemed really far away when we were kids. Like, I myself am right now in a long-distance relationship, and it is rough. Like, it's definitely more than five hours away. I can't, like, I actually have never been able to meet the person I love in person. But we're making it work. And I think, like, especially because these two do love each other. They've already loved each other for years and years and years. Like, I think they'll be able to make it work, definitely. Thank you. Thank you for coming into my world, Ryo-chan. Yeah, like, uh, the past is the past. Like, they... They can't really do anything differently now, but like, I mean, they couldn't do anything in the past. They can't do anything to fix the past, but they've got now. And that's really all they can do, right? Like, just just live in the moments. Just love each other now. Oh, I know I won't love anyone but you. All right, I'll wait for you forever. After that, the rainy season finally ended and I was no longer a stray cat. Wow, like that would have been an... Like, oh, wow, that's so descriptive. That is such a beautiful moment. The idea that on the very last day of the rainy season, like even beyond what the forecast predicted, like the, the skies cleared up and it was finally spring or like it was finally summer. And the two of them just sat out there in the daylight and just took it in together. It was a like that's so intimate. I love it. Right, most of the relics from those days are gone. However, the kids that live here now, I'm sure they'll be able to discover the right world that we now know and have their worlds expanded in their own ways. Mm. And even that, like, I'm kind of sad that they didn't keep the cats, but I can I can appreciate it as mostly a metaphor as opposed to, like, just a literal cat that they cared for. Ever since my world expanded, both Natsuki's and my world have been connected. I'm sure if we were to search for that white cat again, we'd be able to find it. Oh, and that's beautiful. Like, just a single shot of Natsuki from the back looking out. Even if they're, you know, even if they're not together, even if they're not physically together, they're emotionally together. Like, they both see the same Japanese blue sky. I'll never forget that rainy season. I want to see your smiling face yet again. Even in my dream, I escaped to those days. I'm glad we got to be together, because, but I can keep on going without you here, because I know one day we'll be together yet again. Oh, that's so good. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh. Wow. All right. So this is the thumbnail. And then I, I quickly saw the next page and that's pretty lewd. So I don't know if I'm going to record that. Like everything else in this ocean has been pretty like it. It'd be fine. Like I would totally like I wouldn't show that to a preteen. But if a preteen were to see that, it'd be like, yeah, whatever. I've seen worse. Like I saw worse when I was a preteen. Everything else beyond this point, though, I'm pretty sure that's like actual like, you know, Omake Dojin material, which sucks because I'm pretty sure this is also the stuff where he's actually going to be a cat boy. I want to share my reaction, but at the same time, I probably shouldn't share my reaction to that. I might just fap. So I guess we'll cut it off there. This was uh, Noraneko to Rainy Days, also known as Stray Cat and Rainly, uh, Rainy Days. That was a really solid Dojin. I'm probably not going to react to like more H Dojins or like, you know, R18 Dojins, but like ah, that, that was a really good experience. I'm really happy that I managed to read that and I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye for now. <laughs> yeah, yeah.